Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. I am Ambreen Ali Shah and today in this video we are going to do IKMC 2019 carrot problems of section number 2. We will solve question number 11 to question number 15 in this video which are 4 point problems. So let's do question number 11 to question number 15. Okay, in question number 11 it says that 4 digit integers are written on each of 3 pieces of paper. The pieces of paper are arranged so that 3 of the digits are covered. As shown, the sum of the 3 4 digit integers is 10126 which are the covered digits. So you can see in the diagram that some of the digits are covered and we need to find it out. The question clearly says that the sum of the three digit, three, four uh, digit integers are this. So it means we need to make a sum of this. So let's uh, do it. Okay, to make a sum, we need to write it down in a vertical form. It's two, the second number is 2, 1 and a blank number, a missing number and 7. And the third number we have first two digits are covered and then 2 and 6. Yeah. And the question clearly says that uh, the sum of all these uh, uh, numbers is 10,126. So it's a simple addition sum. First, we need to find it out what does these 3, 7 and the 6 makes. That makes 16. 6 is down here and below the unit line. So 1 will be carry up here. Now, to solve the tens line, it's 4 plus 1 and plus 2. It's 5 and 6, 7. 7 plus 5, we will get 12 because the number is less than uh, 7. So we have to make it equals to 12. So that makes 12. 5 plus 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12. Now, just look at the hundreds line. It makes 2 plus 1 plus 1. That makes 3. And uh, this number is uh, less than 3. So, we have to make it 11. 1 carry up here. That makes 11. So, we need to find it out that what will be this number to add them with 2 plus 1 plus 3. That makes uh, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus which number you'll get 11 it's 7 so now just look at the uh, thousands line here it's 1 plus 1 plus 2 that makes 4 and 4 plus which number you get 10 because here we have a number 1 here so 4 plus 6 you'll get 10 So, the missing numbers, the covered numbers are 5, 6, and 7. Now, look at the options. It says 5, 6, 7. It means this A option is the correct answer of question number 11. The rest is 4, 5, 7 and 4, 6, 7. We do not have any 4 number here. So, option number B, C, D cannot be the answer and 3, 5, 6 is, cannot be the answer. So, so, the final answer is 5, 6, and 7. All right, in question number 12 of IKMC 2019 cadre problem, there is a diagram given and in the diagram it says that PQ is equals to PR is equals to QS and angle QPR is equals to 20 degree. What is the size of angle RQS? In this question, they've given us this triangle and uh, for uh, doing it or for solving this problem we need to know the property of angles in a triangle so let's recall it that sum of angle in a triangle equals to 180 degrees one eighty degrees now let's draw the diagram here in a bigger size And this is R, S, Q, and P. The angle that is, okay, there is one more uh, information given here that these two lines, 
uh, PQ and uh, PR are same and uh, QS is also same. They are equal. So we can see that this triangle P, Q and S, this is an isosceles triangle. And in the isosceles triangle, this is a base angle. This is also a base angle. So the property of isosceles triangle says that the base angles are same if the lines are equal. So uh, here PQ and QS are equal, so the base angle will also be equal. It says in the diagram it's 20 degrees, so angle S is also 20 degrees. Okay, this angle is also 20 degrees. Now, uh, again, we'll observe the diagram and there is another triangle that is R, P and Q. In the R, P, Q triangle, according to the information given in the question, it says that P, Q and P, R are equal. Again, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. The third angle in the isosceles triangle is given, which is 20 degree, and the base angle is, and the base angle is missing. So we can easily calculate this base angle by the property of sum of angle in a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So let's calculate these base angle, 180 minus 20, which makes 140, uh, sorry, 160 degrees. And 160 degrees divided by 2 because we need two base angle that gives you an answer 80 degrees. So this one angle is equals to 80 and 80. The same angle, the base as the base angle of the isosceles triangle are same. Now we can easily calculate this angle R of the other triangle. This angle R is a supplementary angle of 80. So we can quickly find it out that this straight line angle which has 80 degree uh, angle and the rest of the angle of the 180 degree angle is 100 degrees because it's a supplementary angle. The question says that what is the size of the angle RQS? This is R, this is Q and this is S. This RQS means we need to find out this angle. This angle we need to find it out. With the help of angle in a triangle property, we can easily find out this angle Q. Because we have angle R, we have angle um, S, so we just need to find out the third angle in the triangle. So it's 180 minus 100 plus 20. It's 180 minus 120, which gives you an answer 60 degree. So the angle Q, this angle Q is 60 degrees. Let's look at the option given in the question. It's 60 degree given in option number B, and this is the correct answer. Okay, in question number 13, we can say that... Uh, which of the following 4x4 tiles cannot be formed by combining the two given pieces? Cannot be found. Okay, just remember this line, cannot be formed. So, we just need to observe first that what are these 4x4 four four, uh, tiles. Mm, this, these 4x4 four four tiles that are uh, given in the options cannot be formed with the help of these two figures given in the question. So first of all, we need to observe the pattern of uh, the, these two figures. The pattern of the first figure is uh, like unshaded, shaded, unshaded, shaded, and unshaded, shade, shaded, and unshaded part. And the shape of this figure is L shape, or you can say, yes, we can say it L shape. Or, um, uh, and the second figure given in the question has two shaded parts joined together and there is a diagonal shaded part here. So after observing the pattern of it, let's look at this that once we join these two figures together, can we uh, make this uh, four by four tile or not? So as it's an L shaped figure, so let's check out the L shaped figure in every diagram. 
okay so here we'll get easily get the l shape figure and now check out the rest of the part it is same as this one the two squares uh, shaded parts together and one is diagonal so this can be made this can be formed uh, by joining these two figures so this option is not correct now look at this uh, b figure in this b figure we can see the l shape uh, uh, tile is this one this is the l shape tile now the rest of the uh, figure is the same one which is given here in the the second figure of the qu uh, question now this can be easily be formed so this cannot be the option of this question number 13 now look at uh, uh, option number three here i can see the l shape figure is here and this is the another figure so this can be formed easily not the option for this question now look at part number d here uh, i can see a tile is here the l shape tile is here and then this is another figure so this can be formed now look at this shape okay so this shape is the only left left one uh, and uh, we can just observe the pattern as well uh, there is no l shape figure here and uh, there is no you know squared tile as well so this could be the option for uh, question number th 13 so with the help of these two diagrams uh, figures given in the question this shape cannot be formed so option number e is the answer for question number 13 in question number 14 alan bela claire dora and eric met at a party and shook hands exactly once with everyone they already knew alan shook hands once bela shook hands twice claire shook hands three times and dora shook hands four times how many times did eric shook hands so this is the question number 14 so first of all whatever the information given in the question we just need to write it down and uh, i'll write down the abbreviation of the number uh, of their names it's uh, alan with a bela with b claire with c dora with d and eric with e and uh, there is another information given here that alan shook hands once bela shook hands twice claire shook hands three times and Dora shook hands four times and how many times did Eric shake hands so it's one two three four and this is what we need to find it out that how many times Eric shake hands okay first of all uh, we'll just take Dora the Dora shook hand with her four friends so a b c and e so dora shook hand with a with b with c and with e as well so uh, it's a vice versa if dora shook hand with a b c e then definitely a b c e also shook hand with dora so alan shook hand with dora bela shook hand with dora claire shook hand with dora and eric also shook hand with dora all right now this condition is satisfied that alan only shook hand once and he shook hand with dora now look at claire claire shook hand with three of um, his friends one is dora and the other one must be bela and eric okay so if Claire shook hand with Bela, then Bela shook hand with Claire, so Bela also shook hand with Claire. Same goes with Eric. Eric also shook hand with Claire. So this condition is also satisfied that uh, Bela shook hand uh, twice and uh, Claire shook hand thrice, and this is also satisfied here. And for Eric, we can easily find it out that Eric shook hand with Dora and Claire. It means two times with two people so uh, the option given in question number 14 b is the correct option which says two in 
In question number 15, Jane is playing basketball. After a series of 20 shots, Jane had scored 55% of the time. Five shots later, her score rate had increased to 56%. On how many of the last five shots did she score? So we need to find it out that how much she scored uh, in the last five shots. Before that, we can easily calculate that how much she scored because it's written 55% um, of uh, the number of shots they've given 20, 55% of it that much she scored before. And after five shots, we need to find it out that how what will be the number of score as it is increased by 56%. So after understanding it, let's first find it out. What does it mean? 55% of 20. That means 55 over 100 into 20. And it gives the answer after simplifying and, and all that. It means 11. So she scored 11 out of 20. And uh, after 5 shots. It means that the number of shots has increased. First it was 20, now it's 20 plus 5, that makes 25. And before that she scored 11, and now after 5 shots, what would be the score that we need to calculate? But it increased by 56%, so that is equals to 56%. So this is what the information given in the question. So it's 11 plus x over 25. Let's solve it. It's 56 over 100. Once we simplify this, 25 times uh, 1 is 25, 25 times 4 is 100, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 14 is 56. So what we left is 11 plus x is equals to 14, which makes x is equals to 3. So this is the final answer, that she scored 3 more in the last 5 shots. Okay, so the option given in the question is C, that is 3. Question number 15, final answer is 3. C part. I hope I have made all these uh, questions from uh, 11 to 15 uh, clear to you and uh, I've explained it in detail. Um, keep watching my channel, subscribe and like my videos and I will definitely upload more videos of the same paper IKMC 2019 carried problems soon. Thank you. Good luck.